Matt Canoles, uh, pastor of uh, Cowboy Church, uh, joins us this morning. Matt, good morning to you. Good morning, Mr. Jim. Appreciate you being with us this yes, morning. Sir. Tell us a little bit about the Cowboy Church that you're a pastor of. Uh, well, Cowboy Church is uh, a lot of people always ask that question and, uh, and want to know what's different, what makes it different from the, the church on the corner. And, and, and our deal is, is uh, kind of like in, uh, in Acts. I think God called Peter to, uh, to lead the, the Jews and, and called Paul to the Gentiles. And the Gentiles really didn't have a church mentality that hadn't grown up in church. And so that's what we do. We, mm -hmm. we, we invite people to come as they are physically, spiritually. Um, and, uh, and we do our, our big, our mission field, our, our gymnasium is a, uh, uh, arena and we do rodeo events and, and try to share the gospel through that. Um, now, how but, did you get involved in this? Uh, well, we we uh, we put on a uh, a team rope, and my father in law did uh, a couple of years ago for a little girl, girl named uh, Savannah Weathers. Mm -hmm. and, I remember uh, Savannah? And and we just did that as a fundraiser. And when it was over with, a couple of guys came up to me and said, "Well, let's, what do you think about starting a cowboy church?" And and I didn't, I'd never even heard of cowboy church. I'd gone to traditional church my whole life, and. Uh, and and I I promise you this I, I promise I didn't want to be or desire to be the pastor at that mm -hmm. time, uh, but God had a different plan and uh, and it was just it's just been a God thing. It was a it, it just a, a snowball started and then it it carried down. Now where's it located? Uh, we're at sixty seven sixty uh, Chillsburg Federal Highway. Um, we just moved there uh, two weeks ago. Uh, up until that, we actually started June the sixth two years ago or two and a half years ago. Uh, and we'd been meeting in my father-in-law's barn uh, for that time, but we we just built a new building. Yes, sir, in a barn. That's uh, that's kind of one of our deals too. You know, I don't I believe in church in, in every form and fashion, mm -hmm. but I think a lot of times uh, stained glass and steeples and and plush padding seats uh, kind of deter people from coming. May not be for everybody. Oh, that's right. That's right. And. Uh, and so we we have church in a barn. It's it's open. I mean, I've heard a hundred times somebody say, "Well, the walls would fall in if I was to come there." Well, we don't have any walls. So, uh, but yes, sir, we meet in a barn, and uh, it's cold what, in the what winter. Are, what are services like at Cowboy Church? Uh, they're laid back. There, uh, we have gravel on the floor. Um, if you spill your coffee, uh, no big deal. Um, we we try to uh, we try to make the music is 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 kind of a Western culture type deal. Um, the services are are there again. Uh, they're not long and lengthy, mm -hmm. but but we still try to share the gospel and and what Jesus did for us on the cross. Have there. music? Oh yes, sir. Yes, sir. We have a we have a awesome worship team that uh, that does an array of stuff, an array of music. Uh, so uh, it's been a cool deal. Uh, from Sylacauga and Childersburg, the route to get to your church. Um, if you turned at the red light in Chillsburg on Chillsburg Fayetteville Highway, mm -hmm. uh, if you take right going towards Fayetteville, it's going to be about five miles down on your right. Um, Is there you, signs there? Uh, yes, sir. Yes, okay. sir. We have a sign up in front of the church right now. Um, coming from Sylacauga, if you went down the Sylacauga Fayetteville Highway, um, when you get to the Chevron there at Big Daddy's, if you turn right, it's going to be about two and a half miles on your left. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Who comes to the Cowboy Church? It, it would really surprise you. Uh, I think, and I think that's the thing that that a lot of people don't understand. Uh, I would probably say seventy five percent of the people that attend our church don't have horses or cows, uh, but it's just people that are looking for that, that don't fall into that conformity, um, that don't feel like they're worthy to go to to traditional church or, or good enough to go. Uh, but there again, I mean, our heart is after people that are in the agricultural industry and, mm -hmm. and raise cattle and. And, and tend to horses, so it's uh we we say flip flops to Armani suits and and shorts to boots, so so it's a, a wide spectrum, a wide uh, variety of people that we have. Pastor Matt Canoles of the Cowboy Church in Fayetteville is our guest this morning. Uh, you talk about uh, different cultures mm -hmm. and uh, reaching the cowboy culture. Talk about that a little bit. Well, uh, I think uh, if you know, you know, and probably around here, there's probably three or four guys that, that make a living raising cattle, and, and that's it. You know, a lot of people that might have some cows like me, that, that, but that's not what I draw my living from. Um, and those guys are usually tough. I mean, they, they deal with death constantly. Uh, they deal with hardship. They deal with getting up and, and working 90 hours a week just to try to break even. 
So those guys are tough, and, and really that's where the Cowboy Church came from. We try to create an environment that that they can then come and feel comfortable in, and, and if you can do everything that you do so those guys come and feel comfortable, then you can just about make everybody else feel comfortable. Uh, Matt, oftentimes uh, in, in a church service where it may be, uh, the tone of the pastor or the tone of the minister, how, how he present, how or she, he or she presents a message can make all the difference. Uh, I agree. And, and, and I think uh, I, I tell people all the time, you know, our, our deal is come as you are. And we really do mean that. And and uh, and, and not just physically, but spiritually and mentally. So uh, my message has come because uh, I have to agree with Paul. When Paul said he was the worst of the sinners, he hadn't met me yet. And, and so I think I just try to be real with people. I, I don't try to sugarcoat it, and I don't try to act like I know all the answers. Mm-hmm. Um, so I, I, what, I, what a, you know, People will go to church, and they tithe, and they give. And, and what, is, what is the direction the Cowboy Church as far as monies are concerned? Well, that, that's our big thing, too, and, and, and I'm glad you brought that up because you know, a lot of people say, well, that church down there just wants your money. And, and so what we do is, is very untraditional as well, just like everything else. But, but we have an old whiskey barrel. Uh, that sits at the back of the church. We don't take up an offering or pass the plate, but uh, but that uh, I believe tithing is a form of worship. I believe it's something biblical. I believe it's something we're called to do. But at the same time, that's that would be between you and God, or between me and God. And and, and I don't want you to not come because you don't feel like you can. Uh, I think God would deal with you on that. And and when He leads you to, then you stick your your money in there. And if not, we want you to come back next week anyway. And, and it's not about money. And and that's the crazy thing to me. We've we've only been going two and a half years, and and it, we're able to just through tithes and offerings and gifts to go ahead and buy this piece of property and, and build a new building and and put up an arena and and still be the church to people to our community. So. Uh, it's been a cool deal, man. Now, the, the Cowboy Church is not just a local happening either. Uh, no, sir. It's, I, I really had never heard of it, you know, uh, besides I, I say that. But a lot of times at rodeos, they would have Cowboy Church if the, if the rodeo carried over into Sunday morning. So uh, I had been that. But as far as a, uh, a traditional type church setting, I, I really had never heard of it till about two years ago, like I said, at the Savannah opening um it's uh, it actually started back in the 70s. It started through the rodeo ministry and, and just kind of carried over. Um, and Alabama is actually uh, second only to Texas as far as cowboy churches. Mm-hmm. There's there's one on 280 uh, right outside of Lee County. There's one in Wetumpka. Um, there's one in over in Collier in Shelby County. And, and there's several. There's there's several several up in North Alabama. Were you hesitant? about stepping in and, and, and uh, you know, making that move to become pastor and, and start a new work there in Fayetteville? Oh, there's, there's no doubt. There's, there's, that's not what Matt wanted to do. Matt, <laughs> Matt did not want to be a pastor, and, and, uh, but God had a different plan. And even when we started the church, I was like, well, that's great. Let's start a church. But I still, I was like, well, who are we going to get the pastor? Uh, and I remember the first Bible study we had, uh, it was going to be on a Thursday night, and, and I, we had kicked around some ideas of who we could get to come speak, and I waited all the way up until Thursday morning. I still hadn't asked anybody, and, and I knew I couldn't call anybody at that time and, and ask them to come do it, so I had to do it. And I don't know if anybody could hear a word over my stumbling and muttering, but uh, but it's just it's just been a God thing. That's all I can say on that. Uh, is Cowboy Church for all ages, or you have— uh... oh, I- I think we really yes it is we we have uh we have couples there that are in their their 80s and and we had a couple that just had a baby two weeks or two days ago so uh and and I think Cowboy Church really draws to the kids and and here's why I think at some point in time in everybody's life whether it be a man or a woman every man even if it was just for a moment has dreamed of being a cowboy of riding in and saving the day and and even mm-hmm. if it was just for a moment every woman has dreamed of a cowboy riding in on a white horse and saving her day. So uh, I think there's, and so we really draw the kids and we try to, we pour a lot of money and time into doing things for the kids and, and trying to to do, as the Bible says, and train them up right. So hopefully that they won't, uh, they won't part from that. So Matt Canoles, the uh, pastor at the Cowboy Church in Fayetteville, Alabama. And, uh, 
Do you have services Sunday morning, Sunday night, Wednesday? When are your services? Uh, we have one service on Sunday morning right now. At uh, It starts at 930. And we have a, a service on Wednesday nights at 6. Uh, we usually do dinner at 6 o'clock and then have a Bible study uh, after that. And uh, and this Sunday morning, we're going to have a... We're going to get some guys that are going to meet at the church about 4 or 5 o'clock uh, Sunday morning, and uh, they're going to start cooking breakfast. So if, if you don't have a church, we would love for you to come join us. Uh, they'll be cooking eggs and, and biscuits and sausage over an open fire and, and uh, cast iron skillets. and, uh, and A little, we'll little bit church. different than going to a fast food restaurant uh, yes, sir. Sunday just morning, a little right? Bit. Just a little bit, yeah. yes, sir. Uh, talk about your background a little bit, man. Uh, well, I, I was raised in church there and for my whole life. My my stepdad was a pastor and minister uh, growing up. And and I tell people all the time, the only way you would have ever known that Matt was a Christian is if you drove by the church and seen my truck in the parking lot. Um, but I have a little boy that's five now that uh, when he was born, we came home and stayed for about three days. And uh, he uh, he my wife woke me up and he had like 104 temperature. And so she called her, her parents to come get him. And, uh, so they rushed him to children's and, uh, I went back to sleep with our older son at the time. And, and when I, she called me about nine o'clock that morning, I said, I need you to come. And so I packed a bag for my older son and, and I went and dropped him off at, at, uh, our aunt's house. And, uh, on my way up there, I had a question, the hardest question that I've ever had in my life. And, and I knew I couldn't go in that hospital room and tell my wife that everything was going to be okay if it wasn't. And uh, between Fayetteville and Chillsburg, I prayed and I just asked God, I said, hey, I, I can't tell her it's going to be okay if it's not. So I need to know right now if it's not going to be okay. But if it's not, then I'm going to be okay with you. And, and that's the hardest prayer I've ever prayed in my life. But the most awesome peace came over me before I got to 280. And, and so through that, I was able to go and tell my wife that everything was going to be okay. And, uh, and through that, God really started to work on my heart and, and, and started to change me. Uh, I really I tell people all the time that, that I felt like I was called to the ministry when I was about 22. And, and I ran from that deal for 14 or 15 years uh, but the Cowboy Church, man, it is it, it has helped grow me in my walk with Christ more than anything. Uh, just just the fact of, of being able to even growing up in church and, and and it's not church in general. It's it's the church and there's been a couple of bad ones that put a bad taste in everybody's sure. mouth. I, I know churches around here. I'm friends with people that go to church. Mm -hmm. I'm friends with the pastors and and I know they're good people and and their mentality would be the same as ours. It, they would truly accept people to come as you are. Um, but but through that, God has really just changed me and, and, and grown Matt. Pastor Matt Canoles of the Cowboy Church uh, down in the Cedar Creek, Fayetteville area, our guest this morning here on Daybreak. And uh, for someone maybe watching today and, and they bounced around Matt from church to church and they just just don't fit for whatever reason, they just don't fit. Why should they come to the Cowboy Church? Well, I, I will say this, and I think uh, I don't think Cowboy Church is for everybody. Uh, it's not, and and I would never, ever, ever, ever. If you got a good church, mm -hmm. stay there. If you got a problem with your pastor, go sit down and talk with him, and y'all work that out. I, I, I don't think God. You don't need that problem. No, I, no well, <laughs> that, that's very good. But but also, I don't think God. I, I think He called us to be fishers of men, not swappers of fish. And uh, but if you don't, if you find yourself uh, in that situation where, where you don't feel like you're worthy, I would encourage you to come. We, we have a barn. Yeah, there's gravel on the floor. Uh, messages are short and, and because my, my, uh, my mentality can't go very long anyway. Uh, so, and, and when we say come as you are, we mean it. And, and we mean that physically. Uh, we have people show up in their pajamas. Mm -hmm. You know, if a lot of people say, especially like Easter coming up, they, you know, you might not have the money to go buy a new Easter outfit. We'll, we'll bring you work clothes and come on. Uh, but also spiritually, and, and, and maybe you don't know the language of church. You know, maybe you don't know all the things you feel like you need to say or do. Uh, to be involved in a church, a lot of us don't either. And so we would, I would encourage you to come and, and, and truly to come as you are. And, Is there a website or a Facebook page? Uh, we have a or? Facebook page at Cedar Creek Cowboy Church. Uh, we don't have a website, but, but you can check out all our information. 
uh, location, address is, is on the Facebook page, yes, sir. All right, Matt, thanks for being with us this morning. Oh, thank Continued you very success. Much. Matt Canole, Senior Pastor at the Cowboy Church in the Cedar Creek, Fayetteville area. Our guest this morning here on Daybreak. More coming up after this.